Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Now we will learn the intro solo of the song which goes like this. Okay now this this solo involves four techniques. So we have bending, we have sliding, we have hammer-ons and pull-ups, and we also have vibrato. Regarding the vibrato, it's not really important to get it at this point, not as Jimi Andrews, but not even as you will get it in the future, because it's something that is developed through time, and at this point in your playing, you are not, you should not put lots of stress in yourself to make it sound just as good as it should be, or like Jimi is playing it. So, we start out with a slick. We can slide from anywhere, basically, the important is that we stop the slide at the 12th fret of the G. But let's start out, for example, from the 8th fret of the G. Since the song is in C minor pentatonic, everything is going to be based on the C minor pentatonic shapes. So it's best to start from the note on the C minor pentatonic. So let's start using our middle finger on the 8th fret of the G and sliding up to the 12th fret. After that, we immediately play with our first finger the 11th fret of the B. Then we bend four times the 13th fret. It's a full step bend. So it's. When we play the bend the fourth time, we hold it a bit longer, then we play the, the note while it's bent, and we go down. So it's. We play the note while it's bended. We go down, then we play again the 11th fret of the B. So, I'm gonna play it for you this lick. Now, notice that when I'm playing the bend the fourth time, I'm adding a lot of vibrato to the note. You don't have to do it at this point, because it's a very... It's an intermediate technique, adding vibrato while bending the note, but the important is to get the note on pitch. So from the 13th fret you have to bend the whole step to the 15th fret. Now, after you do this, you play the stick. What this is, is basically bending from the 10th fret of the G to the 12th fret of the G, a full step bend, going down, and play three times again the 10th fret of the G. So. After this, we have some sliding. So we slide up to the 10th fret of the G. We can slide it from whenever we want on the fretboard. The important is to finish on the 10th fret of the D. But again, since we're in a D minor pentatonic, it's best to start somewhere that's in a D minor scale. So if we refer to this shape of the D minor, which is one of the shapes of the D minor pentatonic, it's best to start out, for example, on the 5th fret of the D. So using our 3rd finger, we slide from the 5th to the 10th fret of the D, which is a fast slide, and we go from the 10th fret, we play the 8th fret of the G, so it's... Then, we bend the 10th fret, a whole step bend from the 10th to the 12th, and we do this motion. We bend, we play again the 10th fret, then we bend again. So it's. Now, we do the same thing as we did before, we do it here. So while having the note bend on the, up to the 12th fret, we play it again and go down. So it's. Then we go down, after we go down, we play the 8th fret of the G, 
and the tenth fret of the D. So once again, it goes like this. Then we end the song with this lick. Now, what the lick is, is basically a fast hammer on, a thrill, which means playing three notes. A hammer on with our pinky. Now, we have the first finger on our eighth fret, and with our pinky, we go to our next note on the pentatonic scale, which is the eleventh fret of the D. So, we have around from eight to eleven, and we pull up. After we do this, we immediately play the tenth fret of the V of the G. Sorry, so it's. Then we do this. A simple bend from the eleventh to the thirteenth fret. Then we end the solo by playing the 13th fret and sliding down. Now, once again the ending. Notice something. The solo adds on the 13th fret of the B. The 30th fret of the B is a C note and the solo is in C minor. So notice that by ending the solo or the C note the whole tension is released. And that's what really makes this a great solo because it builds up tension throughout all the time and then it releases it with this bend. And then it closes up with this slide down. Regarding the sliding down you don't have to really end it anywhere specifically in the fairboard. The important is to have this going down motion. You can play exactly play it as fast as you want. Now, as I said before, it's not important to get the vibrato 100% right on this one, because it's pretty hard to do it at this point, especially vibrato when the note is bent. But what you have to do is try to have the bends as in tune as possible. And also, if you want to change up something, don't be too afraid to do it. For example, if you want to add some bend, if you want to play some note on a pentatonic scale, you can start doing it. For as long as it sounds good with the song, and as long as you're in time with the song, you're good to go. Now, it's best that you play the song after practicing for a while with a backing track of the song and see if you can play it on time. If you can't play it on time, then you should go again to practice it until you can master playing it actually on time. No, but pay something in mind. It's very important to play the song on time, but if not with the song itself, if that's too fast, try to put a metronome at a slower pace. For example, put it at 60 or 70 BPM, which is very slow, and try to play the song at a BPM. Because it's important that when you're playing, you're playing to something, you're playing to a beat, you're playing to a chord, so you can have an idea of what actually you're doing It's in a musical context. So, this is, regarding, this is it regarding the solo, it's very cool, I highly suggest you practice it and you master it as soon as you can. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this course. If you want to watch the rest of the course, the link is down below. Not only will you get the access to this course, but you'll get access to a lot of other courses in a huge bundle. And it's on sale today. So buy it before the sale ends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.